Don't stop believing. Da na na da na da. Yes, 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 yes. I put the pe- two pieces together. I said, "Don't stop believing." Journey. I recognize the lead singer. We're going to do uh, research considering this is our first reaction. But I'm like, don't stop believing. I hope that's the <laughs> I hope I just sung the right song. But I think I'm 80% sure it is. But I've 1 million percent heard that song before. Commercials, the mall, and passing. I've 1 million percent heard that song before. But. I never knew, I've never heard the whole song. I only know that part. And I've heard of Journey, but I never, I never really, as usual, I didn't think to look into them as a, as a group and into their musical history. So that changes today. This is our first official reaction to Journey. This is Journey, Don't Stop Believing. Let's go ahead and let's pull up some research on our new band and our new journey today. No pun intended. Journey. See what we got here. Journey is an American rock band formed in San Francisco in 1973 by former members of Santana, Steve Miller Band, and Frumius Bandersnatch Never heard of Any of those bands Santana I think I've heard of Santana what, Did they perform at Woodstock Again I, I've done so much Woodstock research And like It's by far one of the greatest If not the greatest music festival of all time So I've, I've definitely heard Of a lot of the names that get referenced um you know with any correlation to Woodstock but um the band currently consists of guitarist and vocalist Neil Scowen or Scon the longest serving original member keyboardist and vocalist Jonathan Kane and Jason Derlaka Never heard of that. Um, drummer and vocalist Dean Castronovo, bassist Todd Jensen, and lead vocalist Arnell Panetta. I probably butchered everybody's name just now. Um, okay, they're classified as arena rock, hard rock, soft rock, progressive rock, and jazz rock. Um, they've signed with Columbia, Frontiers, Sanctuary, Nomada, and BMG. I've only heard Columbia Records. I've never heard of the other four. Um, Journey had their biggest commercial success between 1978 and 87 when Steve Perry was lead vocalist. They released a series of hit songs, including Don't Stop Believing in 1981, which in became which in 2009 became the top selling track in iTunes history among songs not released in the 21st century. Escape Journey's seventh and most most successful album reached number one on the Billboard 200 and yielded another of their popular singles, Open Arms. Uh, the 1983 follow-up album Frontiers was also as successful in the United States, reaching number two and spawning several successful singles. Gotcha. Sales have resulted in 25 gold and platinum albums. In addition to the 15-time platinum RIAA Diamond certified 1988's Greatest Hits album. That's crazy. 15 times platinum one album uh in 2005 don't stop believing 
reach number three on iTunes on iTunes downloads. Um, hmm. Journey has sold forty eight million albums in the U.S., making them twenty making them the twenty fifth best selling album uh, band. Jesus, I cannot read or speak to the, to the. Oh my goodness, do y'all hear me? Their worldwide sales have reached over 100 million records globally, making them one of the world's best-selling bands of all time. They were inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with the class of 2017. Once again, another historic, legendary band that I just I never thought to do research on. Boy, well, we're here today. This is Journey, Don't Stop Believing. This is apparently one of the biggest songs ever. I, I definitely, like I said, I know that chorus. Don't stop believing. Dun, 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 dun. Again, I've, never, I have yet to hear the whole song. I only know that part. So I can't wait to finally hear the whole song. But we're ready to go. Let's go. said that this was Steve. Steve sounds phenomenal. Oh my God.
listen, listen, listen. Steve's voice is magic. I think they said his name was Steve Perry. And I feel like I've seen that name before. I've definitely... I don't know where I've, I've heard or seen Steve Perry's name. I've definitely heard that name before. Um, I don't know why I associated that with a solo act, a, a solo artist, but he sounds phenomenal. Oh, you know where I know Steve from? He was in um, We Are The World. The Michael Jackson version. The original version. Um, I forgot which part he sang. I forgot. I was doing research on that song. And I remember Steve Perry's name. And I remember. He, he, he was in We Are The World. Right? Y'all let me know in the con. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to find out right now. I know I've seen this man's name before. Steve Perry, he that you better you sure was, sure was. I knew I wasn't tripping. I but I'm like I heard that name before. Steve Perry, gotcha. His voice, mwah, magical, magical. Oh man, his voice is amazing. Oh yeah, that's a vibe. I see that why wow, that was a big hit. That's a that's a that song is a vibe. That song is a vibe. We going straight to the song research. It was released in October 1981 as the second single from the seventh studio album Escape. Released through Columbia Records. Um shares writing credit. With Steve, Neil, and Jonathan. Um, wow, it was recorded in Berkeley, California. Uh, duh, 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 duh. At the dawn of the 1980s, Journey was becoming one of the most successful rock acts of the era. The band added Kane on keyboards before entering the studio to record Escape. Kane had kept the song title from encouragement his father gave him as a struggling musician living on Los Angeles Sunset Boulevard. The song is unusual in, the, in that its chorus does not arrive until the song is nearly finished. It sure does. I did notice that. I because you would have thought about a where the song was going you would have thought the song would have been called street lights people or um but yeah it did take a long time for don't stop believing to come in and i'm like i, I did notice that i did notice that um uh, its structure consists of two pre-choruses and three verses before it arrives at its central hook yeah, okay. A top 10 worldwide hit in 1981 became the group's signature song and has continued to endure over the years. It's talking about all the streams. Critics claim its anthemic uh, qualities. Music magazine Rolling Stone ranked it among its 500 greatest songs. You're not going to tell us which number? Literally, every time I react to a song that's in the 500 greatest songs, it gives us the number. I guess it's changed over the years throughout the multiple list. Um, the single was selected by li by the Lim Library of Congress for preservation in the United States National Recording Registry as being culturally, historically, or aesthetically significant. Wow, that's incredible. 
uh, four times platinum in the UK. Only go oh okay, gold with physical copies. Um, five times platinum through digital. Uh, and then it says platinum again in the U.S. But anyway, just in the U.S., it has over eight million copies sold. Like I said, um, four times platinum UK, gold in Mexico, three times gold in Germany, nine times gold uh, platinum in uh, Australia. That's crazy. Um, it was one of the best-selling rock al- rock song in digital history until it was overtaken by Imagine Dragons' Radioactive. Radioactive. Ain't that um Welcome to the new age. Welcome to the new age. Welcome to the new age. To the new age. Oh 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 um radioactive. Yeah. I it's been so long since it's it's definitely twenty fourteen. It says it right here, but I'm like, damn, I heard that song is so long. Um Wow. It's classified also as a power ballot. Okay. Huh. So I'm look I'm I'm sitting here looking at the the where it charted and it says number nine, but I could have sworn I just read that it said it was number two somewhere, right? The album was number two. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm reading everything wrong. I'm sorry. The album went number two. But the single went number nine. Gotcha. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. This song recharted like a million times. That's insane. For a song that's 30, 40 years old, the f- fact that it still manages to get into the top 100 charts today, that's crazy. That's crazy. And it's it's like it personifies the eighties. Like if I didn't do all the research, it just it 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 it, it perfectly sounds like the eighties. Um, for the instrumentation, nothing really stood out much, except the keyboard and the vocals. I you know you heard the drumming, you heard the guitar solo, um, but it it, it didn't knock me out the park, um. But just the song itself, the way it's composed, and the vocals. The vocals is what carries the song. Steve Perry is a different beast. Oh, man. I can't wait to listen to more uh, more of him. He sounds phenomenal. He has one of the best voices out of anybody. I was actually thinking about doing that. I was thinking about... So doing a so far best vocalist that I've heard on the channel so far. I was thinking about doing like a top five singers, top five bands, top five songs. I was thinking about it, but I don't know. Um, his voice, he might already be in the top five. I mean, that was amazing. His voice is amazing. It's butter. It just melts everything. I cannot wait to hear more from them. That I, I, and again is uh, it definitely was the song that I thought it was. But boy, this song is amazing. The only reason why I'm about to rush this reaction is because I don't know why it just came out of nowhere. But I gotta take a number two. If you don't know what that means, I gotta take a dump. <laughs> but don't stop believing, cause we gonna react to more journey. But as always, like, comment, subscribe. I, ooh, ooh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord, I got to go. Uh, until next time, peace.